Get away. Woo! Oh, dead. I love it when I'm seeing the final two maps at the tournament. We are in the end game, folks, which means we are focusing on the bubble teams. Those are the teams right there into the mix that have an opportunity to make some cash. And frankly, it's looking like, according to our leaderboard, that's truthfully only the top 10 or so making a play for the top five spots. Now, I'll say this. Uh, I, I never thought I'd be able to say this. I think uh, this is the only tournament where I can say it's truly never chalked, even if you're down at like 20th, because if you could drop a apparent 96 point game, which is apparently possible, you're right there in the mix. You're probably walking away with some cash. Yeah, I mean, you're not wrong. Uh, you know, we always kind of look at this and we go, we always try to play a little bit of sense of realism here as casters that uh, what's actually really feasible possible. But I mean, uh, when we got Aiden kicking off our day with 48 eliminations, that is just absolutely insane, right? So the fact that we know, it's a reminder of that movie quote, it's one of my favorite quotes of all time. So you're telling me there's a chance, yeah. really? And that's, that's if you are any of these teams, who's probably in this top 10, uh, not in the money, that's all you just kind of need to have in the back of your mind. Here's, you're telling me there's a chance. There's always a chance, but the team's on the bubble. Smitzy team trying to have a great map to increase their standings, get into the top 10, but we really got to focus on those teams on the bubble. I'm looking at Team Maddox, Avanti Maddox with Destroy, Stable J, Stable J and Zlander. They've pushed all the way up to sixth place, by the way team gives skull face with testy they're right in the mix they're seventh place only a couple points behind sixth and fifth team juju the team we expected to be dominating today they're in the mix they're right there as well only a point behind seventh and eighth uh but they need a big game and they need it now yeah i think that if they can kind of have a really huge game here in game five and then play a little, little bit more consistent in game number six they could be a squad that kind of finds themselves in the money but you have to have this consistency back to back and that's kind of the storyline for a lot of these teams is that even if you have a monster game here in game number five it doesn't really matter if you then continue this sort of a uh, streak of, of not great games there in game number six, right? So that's what I'm going to kind of be down, looking down, at down, is down. That if you have a great game five, that's cool, but you have to also have a decent game number six to follow it up to really make sure you're walking home with cash. That's right. Top five rewarding the top teams today. Top five of 25, not an easy task. But our team at the top looking pretty solid. Some early encounters as per the usual and grabbing their loadouts quickly. This is the key to success today. As we, as always, with Warzone Tournament Stand, we get to learn along the way with new formats, new uh, modes, uh, new different pl ways to play the game, new teams even. You're always learning how the other teams are going to be playing. And the thing we've learned today is that it is high risk, high reward all day. Fly at your opponents and get involved. That is the key to success. Yeah. You got to do it with a loadout too. Yeah, I mean, Lotus is kind of the, the, the sauce number one. You know, got to always say that there. Uh, to finding your sort of success to kick off a map, right? Being able to do a most wanted contract, to do a recon contract, maybe even a scavenger, right? Yeah, like, do, do whatever you need to do to get that loadout as fast as possible. Because if you're trying to take fights early game with those ground loot guns, I mean, some of our pros are probably feeling good about doing that. But for a lot of the players in this lobby, you might not be feeling great. So you can see a team that's really good at doing that. It is this squad. You got Lola, Breadman, Timmy, Two Cans, and Chop. And well, it's been snipes all day for Breadman and Lola. They want to be able to do some more of that here. Yeah, Lola in a bit of trouble, but great trades. And this is where chemistry comes in clutch. Breadman playing a little bit of backup here. Timmy, their third added into the mix. Opportunity to make a difference. Playing with DJ Davidson as their NFL captain in the New York Giants. And they reset, they get a quick buy. It looks like they're gonna get a UAV as one of their players are in the gulag and they're gonna actually have to back up on this. I thought they were gonna be able to win it, but Lola in trouble is gonna let to fly down to apartments. Yeah, I think just kind of getting out of here and repositioning yourself is so important. You don't want to give this team free points, but you also want to stay alive, right? I mean, yes, while you do have multiple opportunities to get back into the game here, because reminder, folks, we are just playing in sort of the normal quads playlist. This is not the World Series of Warzone rule set. We have the Gulag reentry tokens. We have the flares. We have the reinforcement packs. A lot of ways to get back into the game, but you don't want to have to rely on those because, yes, sure, you can get back in, but then it's about how do I get my guns? How do I get, you know, plates? How do I get self revives? Like all of these things that you're relying on. It just becomes so much harder when you're trying to do that deeper and deeper into the game. Great breakdown. Back to the baby we go. Looking for a bit more action. Uncharacteristic of them to not be in a fight. We swing over to one of our top teams right now. As you can see, Noobs is actually uh, teaming with Team uh, Quincy Williams 
and this Noob Silly advanced balloon. roster, we expect them to do pretty well, yeah. and they're currently I mean, yeah, in third, Dan, uh, <laughs> doing really well. Look at, this guy's a uh, decent little gap over fifth. Fort is hot on their heels as that Breadman squad, so we're really hanging out here, really inside our top ten teams mostly as we head over to the namesake of the event, Sauce Gardner, and they are in the mix. I see at least one full team in the area. It looks like a second right around the corner. My house, get right here. I'm holding an iron on you. Soka giving out the comms. You got a mortar strike coming in up over the top. You have this mosquito drone in case anybody goes ahead to fly on in. So looks like that fight already feeling pretty solid. Aiden on the other side, though. Wow. Somebody's able to take down Booyah. But Aiden quick with it, brings them on down. Doesn't let Booyah have to use that self revive, gets them back on up. Aiden, though, a bounty is picked up. It is two-star threat. You see the UAV start pinging on out. You know that I think this is probably this team pushing through Lowtown, trying to bring down Aiden. That was Benny Central, so that's that Juki squad we've seen a couple times. Aiden's only on three, so a hair slower. There was a, a map, by the way, that we got to about this point, where the second circle was beginning to close, and he was on 13 already. So, yeah, a little bit slower this time around. A little team effort here. We'll see if they can start... Getting aggro here shortly as Vinny runs into a grenade. Trades out with no plates and is going to lose that one, unfortunately. You hate to see it. All that trying to look at. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. Welcome to the one shot snipes, baby. Right to the dome. I just like it's been so long since we've been able to really have a tournament where that's possible that it always just catches me so off guard when somebody's just trying to make like a nice little peek you know you're, you're downtown you're trying to get a lay of the land and next thing you know you are just eating a bullet straight to the mouth oh my gosh poor po boy visceral I think he was able to get back up but still don't think twice about peeking that again it might Brett wins his gooch, by the way, and I, I gotta mention, Brett is last to life for his team right now, so there's actually a really big moment for that squad. We gotta pay attention to what Brett's doing. Let him regain off screen, but we gotta keep an eye on it, Obs, because uh, that Brett team is in trouble. That's Team Davidson in fourth place right now, barely in the money, and in a blender this map. He cannot fall as he's trying to regain. Buy a fucking bunker if we're gonna fight these kids. Ooh. Yeah, I play for a Okay. I'll put money on the buy. I'm about to get on the stronghold roof. I'm looking going out hopefully lets them pick up the loadout back on board with team destroy the they did win that map number four with 18 eliminations so it's solid 36 point game currently sitting in six with 83.6 points just a hair behind team coons in fifth so a really good game here would help them kind of jump up the leaderboard you're kind of in that situation if you are this squad like you're hoping that team coons does not have a good game and that you can maybe fry out maybe even go back to back uh i feel like is is probably the game plan for them because it's very possible they have a great game five here goge they go in you have a great game six okay you're not that far behind team davidson in fourth yeah it took him a hair longer than i thought it would to get into the mix I mean, but uh yeah you're right i, I think they definitely could go back building? to back they've got great kim tom's yeah, flying they're feeling good vibes are high you've got some momentum behind you problem is i, I just feel like they're moving a hair slow right now they have to get right aggro here. if they want a sizable chunk of this prize pool you gotta get kills if you can get a knock here would be Ooh. huge you could full send wall, another crack how about another how's the another shield break my goodness this guy's hitting but he cannot hit for enough and maybe this is why you need to use the moors at this range maybe one headshot could be all the difference and all the rage but unfortunately cannot get a knock as they're all trying to tear down any of these players that are running away yeah, you're starting to feel really the effects of that car 98 nerf coming on in with some of those shots from destroy it definitely does not one shot at the range that it used to you can't hit somebody's toe twice to get a knock anymore you have to be precise and probably at a little bit more closer range than you would normally be used to but well look at that as we come on over to smixy it's royal eyes pushing from behind as they're playing the edge of zone thankfully she gets thrown right back into the mix is maybe trying to grab some comms for the team maybe you get some live pings from the sky so again uav is an unmanned aerial vehicle so uh player up in the sky pav a pav i don't know i'll come up with a good name for this but when you buy somebody back they like to float and they give you information that's like a, a manned vehicle there's another team over here we'll come up with it i'll figure it out aerial Visuals? I don't. I yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll figure it out. We'll get there. I, I just got a motor strike. I can motor strike you if you want. 
Testament. I just motor strike. I'm try and drop a mortar strike over the teammates. Hopefully provide some cover. Maybe somebody can get on over there. All right, we gotta regain somewhere else. Man. I like that call. Right say we gotta regain somewhere else. They don't feel comfortable here. Somebody's giving them a little bit too much trouble. Gotta get on out of dodge. He's right on the other side. I don't mind this part of the map, right? You kind of have a little bit of an eyeball. You can look down into the low town, maybe catch some of these teams that are here. This buy station, you catch a lot of people just trying to fly on in and, and maybe hit this buy, but it's a little bit out in the open. Yeah, it could be a bit tough. You really don't want to show a face here with a couple teams in the area. Watch Bell under fire from mortars all over the place. How about a couple of thermo barracks? Yeah, sorry, bro. There are way too many flying through the gates here and blowing up your building. That's Aiden coming in with the cleanup, continuing to just wipe this entire lobby as Clutchbug is sent to the Gouge. And look who it is on the other side. The sniper himself, Fallnet's in trouble into the Gulag again. Let's see who comes out on the better side of this one. Uh oh. Ooh, okay, wait. Okay. A little bit miss on the Molotov there from Clutch Belk, but. Not able to regain. You've lost summer plates there as the smoke goes on through. Fallnet's laying in wait. The Ooh. rope comes on through. Fallnet tries to hit it, but it, I don't know. It just looks a little bit too awkward for him. Some patience from Clutch Belk comes out on top. Fallnet, you had the right idea, but unfortunately, you just can't hit the zip. I mean, fuck. I hope we can hit a regain over Real. here, Resin, bro. Belk is able to get back into the lobby. All four, or no, three up. They don't have MBS, unfortunately. Okay, everyone reset. We're good. We're yeah, reset. It is looking like I'm getting word from production here that I think right here, right here. Red got fully eliminated. Is that what I'm seeing? So on that regain, he is one of two squads fully out of it. Is that right? Um, highly oh, likely. Oh, no. That is brutal if that is the case again that's one of our teams yeah, on the bubble in the, the mix they're currently in fourth place right now a big window of opportunity for some other folks it. yeah you do not want to go down early uh, especially this game so uh, a huge miss on their part they'll have one more opportunity folks as we have one more game after this but you know they want to come out on top they needed a very even just decent game to probably keep their name in the conversation uh -oh. on the other side though look at this oh it's his soka and trying their best to stay alive it's not possible though sauce fully eliminated and you got three of these members in the gulag trying to be able to regain the two teams at the top fighting and it's the team at the top that wins it aiden booyah zyro and Tariq cohen taking down sauce garner's team sending him to the gulag this team is in trouble now lucky seemingly on the map but ahsoka in the gulag and so is ebates need to win these and a couple shots come through from rashad oh Soka gets gunned by rashad jennings come on that's how I'm, a, I'm a little impressed i'm not gonna lie it's not often we see yeah, yeah, Soka yeah. losing a gulag it's, oh my god okay bibby tries to open the door tries to say hello but somebody says good morning back straight through the air you even see the bullet trail lingering takes on out you're seeing the grenades you fly on through the frag into the thermo barrack we'll hopefully maybe he can stay alive i'm not entirely sure back on board with Ryder though yeah playing position here definitely inside of the new going to the fourth zone Ryder looking for a couple snipes peaked out again says Ryder. as we go back to belk who was able to restabilize for a half of a second as some random ground loot weapons and just can't get anything going a full team fully eliminated all by himself he knows this team's gonna have to push up from a disadvantageous position to get involved and there's another team on the other side by that atv so he's just kind of playing slow here and i, I actually quite like this position he's gonna get first shots in if he can spot them but the question is how many he's likely yeah, spotted where do you go from here dan i mean i don't <laughs> i don't even know dog I, I, maybe you try and play underneath but waiting here for somebody like i feel like he could have come over here without making those shots and making it be known that he was now over here right so this team that's behind him was ebates i think ebates and lucky shamu are still uh -oh. up but this is the problem see you you made some shots it is this level one superior anybody looking at their mini map saw your red dot show up they know that you're sitting over here every team is now looking at your direction and if you are clutch belk 20th oh God, is not gonna be enough up, up. Uh, 
in trouble into the blender we go a pa on your head to try to save the day it's not gonna be enough though all of your teammates being cut down left right center and they are the only one gonna get the self revive off and like be cut down immediately that's gonna be a full way the spot i can only imagine as we swing back to a team that is doing a lot of slaying in contention an opportunity knocks to get into the money here they need a big one though this is skull face squad this team's been doing fairly well middle of the pack all day now into seventh place only a couple points behind that fifth place spot that is the last spot that gets money right here right here on me Ooh, bad, tasty bad, man bad. he finds oh, two get back, get back, it's back, selling and advanced back. on the outside that will be a squad wipe first two eliminations wow. of the game what a great pickup there kind of buys him some space on the map as well big game bounty they could find JJ Lap. That would be huge. We got 15 seconds left on it. Probably not going to happen. You can see they're on the other side of the map for what it's worth. But I like the idea, right? You pick up the big game bounty. It does give you a lot of info on where the top team of the lobby currently is. Sometimes we see people even just do that when it kind of gets to these smaller zones. Just to get an idea of, hey, where is a powerful team in the lobby? Where are they trying to poison on up? And it gives you just all the information you need to probably just literally play the opposite side of zone that they're currently on. Yeah, and while we had that moment there, it is worth noting that was a wipe on Team Quincy Williams, which is the team in third place. So this leaderboard is getting shuffled all over the place. So some of our top teams are being eliminated right now. Some of the teams on the bubble have an opportunity to make a huge jump up this leaderboard, especially if they can get some good multipliers. But we are not there yet. Still, some of our top teams in the lobby. We're looking for our multipliers starting at the top 15 teams. And that's just a 1.2. Looking for 1.6 top five. Got a long way to go in this map to get there. We see several of our players pushing the equation and trying to get several eliminations. Here's Heist grabbing one and a white. That's so many nids. This is a really weird position though, Goj. I mean, you have this wide open space in front of you. Sure, you can catch a couple people on your outside. You've probably cleared off your back. You have the buy station to your left. If you do need to hit it, but not a lot of cash for the team as a whole. So I don't know. I, I do like this. Maybe make your way up. Try and play this little bit of a sliver of the side of the building that, or side of the mountain rather, that is still in zone. A nice idea. You have a loadout at the top if you want to try and hold it, but uh, it's going to be tough. Back on over to Aiden, currently sitting on five. But hey, a PA on your dome is going to force everybody inside. Yeah, it's going to just force you to stay here for a little while, which I don't think they're too worried about that. They've got a nice angle to potentially pick up one, but right now it's just depleting resources. You see this destroyed team trying to make a mad rotation. Avanti Maddox in trouble, able to stay alive though. And a nice take from Destroy is going to open up a pathway. How about another? Can he get one with a pistol? No, he goes for the gun butt. I thought he was going to jump into the water, but that's a full squad wipe. The team's still alive. Destroy going to be cut down though, as it's little Mario getting into the mix. Iceman Isaac finding one as well. Watch out. Couple Another teams in the area, area. and right now, Destroy's team is in trouble as Aiden's squad continues okay, okay. to rake in the kills yeah, yeah, and takes yeah, down yeah. Testament. It's one of the teams okay, okay. in the bubble, in the mix, they're getting wiped. Cranks last minute alive. He has a flare. He brings the knight back on in, but Skullface flies on forward to find Cranks and Shifty. Pretty rough scenes for them, but they're on 20, man. So not a bad uh, shot there as we're getting a. A little bit of looking at some oh, skincare right, right. products. You definitely need it out here <laughs> in sunny Urzikstan. That is for sure. Aiden, definitely no stranger to that. No stranger to Urzikstan. Currently sitting on nine. They kick off our day with 48 eliminations. We've yet to see it. And well, we got to talk about it, go to let everybody know exactly what is about to happen. A jailbreak is coming on in. Please say the ruling very explicitly. Let me be very, very clear, folks. You cannot oh, 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 oh. use this jailbreak to get back oh, into the I'm game, not, but not, if I'm you have not, only I'm one teammate I mean, I mean, I mean, alive, you can use the jailbreak. That's how it works. It's very simple. Still plenty of people you can farm in the zone, but you can't kill people that are trying to fly out into the gas to make sure they don't give their kills away. So keep that in mind. We have to go right back into the action. We've got to zoom in on one of these POVs. I think we should stick with Aiden. Aiden's team is in trouble, and down we go because it's about to get real mixy real quick. We're down to the final six teams. We're going to top five for a one point. Six. This is the team in first, and they're in first for a reason. They are frying. Again, Aiden is on 10 kills. Again, on double digits as an individual. That means this team is likely on at least 30 kills right now. 
they have an opportunity to go massive and likely secure their spot at the top of this leaderboard to make sure nobody else can even contest i think we need one more placement is all they need though to hit that top five to get the 1.6 times multiplier that's kind of been their secret all day long have some solid kills but always make it to that 1.6 we can see another team that maybe would love to have their first really great game of the day it's highs and apathy and co but back on over galvanize and bulldog are taken on out aiden will get taken on down but thankfully the revive is there but he sees the parachutes coming in from behind good the cops flying on through and can they manage to pull out on top you're seeing that booyah eliminated Tariq eliminated but they got flares on these bodies they're getting right back in unreal over and over again. Oh, team, oh, team, my, oh, team, my, oh, team, simulator. They lose one. Down oh, goes their NFL one? player, yeah, but this is a quick look back because he got cleared yeah, back in. So Aiden's POV right. is yeah, the most yeah, up-to-date yeah, POV. We got the 1.6 multiplier. Now it's just going to come down to the win. If they can secure a win here, right, this will be gigantic. Bro, Two bro, times instead of 1.6. Aiden from the gas. Raining terror. Several players in his way. He does not care. One, two, three. Give me all of them. Give me everybody in the lobby. And finally, somebody from behind says, not today, as they net another 36-kill game. 1.6 multiplier. 37, give it to him, fourth place. Who's gonna win though? A massive game, but who's on top? The final fight, down goes third. We have two teams left, Dan, and I don't know who it is. Great value, but here it is. Speaking of great value, what is that, Z-Speed, Gooey Guy, Mario, finally? Finally, they are making some moves here, and they were a little bit out of the bubble, but we wanted them to come online. Look at the shots going on through. Smitty playing on up, brings down Green Doze, as it is still a 4v4. But on the turn and burn, that is a squad wipe. 33! Okay, that's a way to get yourself back into the money. We said it was possible for a team to have a huge game to jump up the leaderboard. Z Smith's team are able to do so. Welcome to the party, Ashton Davis. My goodness, that is going to be a massive <laughs> leap, Taylor. I am blown away. I knew they had it in their bag, but I thought it was going to be a little too late. But finally, clutch up, drop a banger map number five with only one more map to go. They're going to be within striking distance in that top five. Yeah, Ashton Davis representing the New York Jets, so you better believe Sauce Gardner is going to be happy with that result. Uh, come on, huge game, 33 Elim, still doesn't beat the 48 at the start of the day, but it's definitely a step in the right direction. Uh, I don't know.